Man, I am absolutely sick and tired of all of you. You have got to be the fakest group of people I've ever met. In my short journey here, have I begun to discover how quickly the veneer, the facade of filters wears off when you get to know an individual. Most of us don't live in the real world, and so when we're confronted with the reality of people, we tend to turn in disgust, but we have to understand these are lost people. These are people that have no clue what direction they're going in life, so what they do is they become a sponge, a cultural sponge. Whatever they're fed, that's viewed as popular, that's viewed as trending, they soak up, they soak up every bit of it. They become, they just become completely that, really, they, they become taken over, they become more transformed, metamorphosized into something that is virtual, fake, a, a, a veneer, an illusion. They're turning you into a lower frequency being, don't you understand this? You have no concept of perception of the real world. It's here in front of you. Look, how many people will understand the beauty of nature? I love it. I sit in it every day. I meditate. I contemplate. I read scripture in this. This is what God has gifted us. But we choose to be like the people stuck in the matrix. Like, I know it's funny, but I am serious. You are trapped in a matrix that you have put yourself in. No one's forced you into it. And we all have free will. We all can choose to live in the real world and make real advancements in our lives. Do something that's substantial. But most of us would rather focus on something that's not real. Yeah, I understand the difference between spiritual things and physical things. But what they're doing is neither. It's nothingness. It's void. It's nihilism. That's why this whole self-enlightenment crap is coming around. Because people are so tied up in this. They're so caught up in this. That, like... Hey, what's the next step? I voided out everything, I've made myself nothing, then what am I now? And they're like, well, let me be the best thing, which is enlightened. It's a false, it's a false standard, right? Anyone could seem enlightened. Like, the wisdom by which you me measure others by, right? And view other people through, is how you'll take that wisdom. So, I could be a simple man that says a simple thing, right? Like, a load is heavier when shared, right? But it's just something not enlightened that I'm saying it's like I picked up a heavy bucket and then my friend helped me and it was easier but there's something spiritual there but does that mean that person's enlightened no we just have the ability to perceive patterns and understand those patterns and how they can correlate to other parts of existence but when we sit there and focus on ourselves being enlightened we never truly transcend the limitations that we have we become further trapped by them because we justify those limitations or are things of elevation that other people don't understand that other people criticize because they're not elevated see that's where the trap is then you start viewing yourself as inflated than your actual status yeah if you're doing good at something take credit like do your thing right like you're a hard worker be proud to be a hard worker but don't think yourself a harder worker than you are many people do you know we've been in a society where I work a bunch of hours, but I try to skim through and do as little work as possible while seeming to do the most work at, in front of everybody. And it all catches up because now look, everything that we have that was maintained by this generation of people that are like, yeah, I work hard, I do road work, but then like there's, you drive by people doing road work and it's not just in the past couple years, it's been for a couple decades now, just standing there, doing nothing, talking, smoking, and it's sad because the reality is, like they could have been done. But they wanted to milk hours, money, finances, and weren't diligent. And so guess what? They overdrew from something that now we can't we can't even afford to fix our roads because they've inflated the time and the labor and the expectation of all this stuff so high that there's no way they could possibly keep up a tax threshold to support and fund these things. It's impossible. It's impossible. So like what do we do? Do we start taking more responsibility and like when I go work a job, I'm going to do it to the best possible ability. And yeah, no, I'm making somebody else money, not myself. But at the end of the day, on down the road, how much I make and what I'm profiting is going to be greatly increased substantially instead of me taking everything now and then later on there being nothing. We live in that culture. I take now and I don't worry about tomorrow. Yeah, I understand God will provide, but we don't need to feast upon our own lust. I went on. I'm just tired of the fakeness. You have all been fake. I don't care who it is, myself included. I'm just being honest with you. You can hate me, you can troll me, I don't give a dang. I've been through more stuff in my life than any of you could possibly ever know. And whatever little words 
on social media bother me none. I laugh. Every time someone thinks they said something that could possibly hurt my feelings, I laugh because it's so ridiculous. It's like, um, I've been seeing clips from Seven Deadly Sins, uh, Eskinor, right? He's like, I don't fear you. How do I fear? No, no, no. I'm not angry with you, right? I'm not even angry with you. How do I anger some? How am I, how am I angry at something I pity? Sorry, I stumbled through all that, but that was just like, I think I needed to say it. Like, when we feel bad for these people, like, they're trolls, they don't mean anything. You're like, oh, that's a sad person, that that's their only enjoyment, is that they get to say a mean thing on the internet. I'm impressed with you. I can say mean things on the internet, too, and I can be pretty funny about it. So, I hope you enjoy the show. It's going to be great. Keep joining the ride. Let's see where this goes. Thank you. Have a blessed day.